free women's fasting calendar. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, hi, I'm Taylor. I love talking about peptides, how to help women optimize their hormones, how to lose fat and build muscle all at the same time. So if you're new here, thank you so much for clicking and trying out my video. And for all of my regular listeners, I'm so happy that you guys are tuning in to this video as well, too. So let's get into this topic. MOTC versus SS31. Which one do I choose? How do I use them? They sound so similar. So today I'm going to be sharing with you guys when to choose these peptides, what the difference is between them and how, yes, they're similar, but they actually do work a little bit differently. So let's get into this. So MOTC SS31, basically the difference is that, yes, both are going to help with longevity, help with fat loss, but one's going to be a little bit more beneficial for longevity. Other one's going to be a little bit more beneficial for fat loss. So let's get into this. Let's start off with MOTC. What exactly is MOTC? Well, MOTC is a powerful mitochondria peptide that can be a big game changer if you are wanting to improve your energy levels and also work on improving your mitochondria health and helping with your metabolism. So your mitochondria is a powerhouse of your cells and it is so important and that is one of the key pieces to living longevity is being able to help produce with mitochondria health. So how MOTC is going to work is going to help with boosting your metabolism. So it's going to help with increasing your fat oxidization. So that is going to be benefit if you are somebody who is in a higher body fat percentage and you have a higher body fat percentage to lose. This is going to be a really great peptide to take. I love this peptide. I personally like to take this peptide when I'm not on a GLP-1 but you can pair this with a GLP-1. It complements it very well. Um, it's also going to help support your mitochondria function, which is going to help again with producing more energy. The more energy that we have, the more we can move our body, the better we can get around, the better we can work out. We're going to be able to have more energy to be able to go into the gym and do our cardio, go in and go and do our training and do our resistance training sessions. Um, so that's going to be super beneficial, but it is going to be ideal if you are looking to want to lose fat and increase your energy. This also is going to help increase blood circulation because the more energy, the more um, better that your mitochondria can function, the more blood is able to flow through. It's going to help so much with that. And that is going to be super beneficial. And I talk about this and I think I say this in every video I do with MOTC is that it also can it has incre it increases my libido um, a lot because of the mitochondria function. It's going to help with moving energy around. Therefore, the blood circulation is going to be better. But MOTC is going to be best if you are wanting to help boost your mitochondria function. It's going to help increase the fat loss and fat burning. It's going to also help with insulin sensitivity which is so important. Insulin sensitivity is so crucial. And that is also one of the key parts here of living a long, healthy lifestyle is going to help with insulin sensitivity. So that's going to be great. And it is also going to help improve your performance. Every time I take this peptide, I'm on this peptide, I have so much more energy, um, especially like when I'm not on a GLP-1, I'm usually focusing on more days of resistance training. So I'm going to be in the gym more and that is going to be, you know, a little bit more harsher on my body. So I'm going to, I like the fact that I get more of an energy boost with this. So definitely helps um, with performance. And um, again, you can stack this with a GLP-1. It does pair with it beautifully. Um, this is also a really great peptide too. If um, you are somebody who um, has been out of the fitness game for a while, or you're just stepping into becoming into um, 
into a fitness phase of your life. Like that's okay. This is going to be a really great peptide to kind of get you motivating and get you going and get the energy boosting. So that's why MOTC is really good. Now, what exactly is SS31? Again, it is a, another um, targeting um, mitochondria peptide, but it is going to help with oxidative stress, which is so key and important here for, for the ladies because we carry so much more stress and women will carry stress in their bodies. That's like one of the one of the reasons why I think a lot of people end up with chronic illnesses is because of carrying, you know, so much stress in the body. So SS31 is going to help with that because um, it's going to help with oxidative stress. It's going to be really important, the fact that it's going to help with, um, again, mitochondria function, but it's going to help protect your mitochondria from getting damaged. So it's going to help with energy production, but it's also going to help protect your mitochondria health as well and protect your mitochondria cells from um, continuing to decline or be compromised as we age. So that is a huge, huge benefit. So when we have that going on, it's going to help us act as a protectant from chronic illnesses. So it's going to help with anti-aging because it's going to protect your mitochondria from being compromised. That's also going to help so much with our brain cognition because it's going to help protect those, the brain, um, our tissues in our brain. So that's super beneficial. Um, it's also going to help so much with recovery with your fitness and your exercising. So again, this is like where, you know, MOTC it's going to help give you energy. This is going to, SS31 is going to be really great because it's going to go in there and it's going to help reduce the inflammation in the body. And that is one of the biggest like keys and benefits that I feel in my body when I take SS31. It really does help with the inflammation um, in my body. Um, I definitely can feel it, especially like, you know, especially if I have like a cheat meal or if I'm like, if I had a really intense workout, like I feel that in my joints, this is going to help with my recovery time so much better. So the faster we can recover, the sooner the, when we go back into the, into the gym to do our next exercise performance, we're going to be able to perform more efficiently because our recovery time is getting, um, sped up. So some of the benefits that it's going that um, SS31 is going to have is that it's going to protect your mitochondrial health from oxidative stress damage. It's going to increase your energy production, but it's going to um, reduce inflammation. So therefore, it's always going to it's also going to help support anti aging and cognition health, and that is so important and um, so big right now. Um, cognitive health is something that I know a lot of women are always more interested in. So just to kind of give it a comparison, because these are very similar peptides because they're helping with your mitochondria health, but they kind of do, they do very similar things that they are going to work very differently. Whereas in like, so MOTC is going to be a peptide that is going to be better for if you are trying to, if your focus is more on fat and energy level, MOTC is going to be a great peptide to pick for that, even though it is helping with your mitochondrial health, that is going to be where it's going to be more of a favor for women to use. Um, and then SS31 is going to be more of our longevity peptide. So that is going to, again, it's going to help with, with fat loss, but not as intensely as MOTC is going to. This is going to just help more so with longevity. So this is going to be a better peptide for mitochondria health, for anti-aging, um, protecting your body and reducing it from um, oxidative stress, protecting your mitochondria health from declining. Um, and it's going to help with improving your cellular health long term, whereas in MOTC is going to help more so like, again, with giving you that energy boost. So think of it more as like a short, a shorter version, a short term, whereas an SS31 is more of a long. So both these peptides are going to increase your energy levels just in completely different ways. Um, 
Again, MOTC is great for a short term. SS31 is more of a long term um, longevity focus um, to help with um, mitochondria repair. So, again, you can't go wrong. They're both, it's just you have to figure out where it is that you're wanting to focus and the purpose of peptide. So, if you're looking for more fat loss and energy performance enhancing, MOTC. You want to focus more on longevity um, and anti-aging, SS31. Now, can you take them together? How can you take them together? You absolutely can take these peptides together. Um, you actually can um, put these peptides in the same syringe, um, which is really nice because I know a lot of women get tired of having to do multiple injections um, on the when, on the days that you're doing it. And I totally understand that. But that's what's nice is that because these two peptides, MOTC and SS31, are mitochondria um, peptides, you can put them in the same syringe so you don't have to do two separate injections. So that is a nice bonus. Um, but my dosing, when I like to use these peptides, I like to do two milligrams of MOTC in the morning um, for energy twice a week. Um, again, eight weeks on, eight weeks off. And then for SS31, I'm going to do five milligrams of that twice a week. And that is going to be me targeting that for mitochondria repair. Um, but not see, I always like to use that for energy and more fat loss. So there you guys have it. That is my little breakdown on the comparison of MOTC versus SS31. This is a, um, great topic that I have been meaning to do. And I know that a lot of people have requested this video. So I hope I was able to explain that the most simplest way possible. Again, fat loss, MOTC, longevity, SS31. That's kind of like how I like to compare. These um, two mitochondria producing peptides are really great. And sometimes like what I like to compare them is at like, I like to compare like SS31 as my platinum and MOTC as my um, as my yellow gold. So that way, you know, they're great, but just one is going to be a little bit more higher than the other. And, you know, as much as like platinum's always nice, sometimes yellow gold is good too. So there you go. There's a little comparison. But if you guys are interested in wanting to learn and know more about peptides, go check out the women's peptide course. Um, and that is in the link description below. Also, you can go and check out the Feminine Flow Collective, my private women's group where we talk all things peptides. So if you love my content, but you want to be able to interact with me more and I actually share with you guys more directly about these products, where I source my products, how to get them, how to use them more on a personal basis, definitely go and check out the Feminine Flow Collective. There's a great group of women in that group that are just just as much loving and um, knowledgeable about peptides as I am. We also cover hormones. We cover fitness, nutrition. Um, and then it's just like really great because we all support each other and like really try to inspire and cheer each other along the way of their journey. And it's no matter what journey, what phase of life you're in. Um, so whether you are premenopausal, in menopause, postmenopause, like we have all the different age groups of women in there. And it's so nice that it's such a wide range because we are all going and we're all in different phases of life, but it's great that we can all come together and support one another through it. So definitely it's just going and checking that out. Um, it, and as always, if you want to reach out to me personally, go through my website. That is in the link in the description below. Sign up for the email list so you can find out um, more details too on these products and more products I talk about on my channel. Um, and you guys can also find out where I get these peptides from by using the link tree description. Um, the link tree in the description below is um, where I have that linked in there where um, two places where I like to get my peptides from um, with discount codes. So that's great because you get to save a little money too. So go and check that out. And if you've used these peptides and you want to share um, your experience with them, please do so. And until next time, guys, I will talk with you soon. 